In this morning's Health Watch, the truth about vaccines. Republican presidential candidate Michelle Bachman sparked a firestorm of controversy during a debate last week. She quoted a mother who blamed the HPV vaccine for what she said was, quote, her daughter's mental retardation. Joining us to help separate science from politics on some of the most commonly used vaccines is Dr. Holly Phillips, our friend, contributing editor of Prevention Magazine. Holly, it is good to see you. Good morning, Russ. Great let's, to be here. Let's clear something up first of all. Is there sure. any scientific evidence that HPV vaccine can cause mental retardation? No. You know, I have to say there were 36 million doses already given in the United States of this vaccine, and the CDC is following it very closely. Uh, there are no known side effects of mental retardation or, or any uh, problems with cognition whatsoever from the vaccine. Okay. Um, the most common side effects, of course, from the vaccine are fever, a little bit of soreness and redness at the actual site of the injection. And some girls feel dizzy right after they're given the vaccine, mm -hmm. sort of in the first couple of minutes after receiving it. Uh, but in terms of long-term effects, mental retardation, thankfully, is not one of them. Now, who should get this vaccine and at what point should they get it? It's given at age 12. Uh, it protects girls against a virus called HPV. Uh, and that virus is sexually transmitted. So the uh, thinking behind giving it at age 12 is just that's before most women are sexually active so and it lasts you for life so you can get it at age mm. 12 and even if you are not sexually active till you're 40 you're still protected at that time how common is cervical cancer it is incredibly common worldwide it is the fifth most common cause of cancer death uh, and it causes 4,000 deaths every year here in the United States so it's very good idea to be protected. Okay, let's move on to sure. the uh, tetanus vaccine, something that everyone gets. At, w at what age should it's, one receive this? Sure, it starts at two months old. It's mm. given in a series of three injections, uh, but we all need a booster for that one every 10 years. I actually just got my booster mm -hmm. and experienced the most common side effect, which is, ouch, the arm hurts. My arm was sore for a couple of uh, days afterwards. No other serious long-term side effects, though. What are the risks of not getting this vaccine? Well, tetanus is a life-threatening illness. Uh, so it, it's, it's a uh, bacteria that enters the skin after you've been cut or scraped. Uh, thankfully, it's rare nowadays because of the vaccine. Um, but it is a life-threatening illness and thought to be actually one of the most painful conditions anybody could ever experience. So we should all stay vaccinated. Okay, let's talk about the mumps, measles, and rubella vaccine, mm -hmm. the MMR vaccine. At what age should we get this? Uh, that one starts at uh, just 12 to 15 months, and then mm. you're given it again between four and six years old. Uh, really, the most common side effects with that one are, ra are fever, rash, and some swollen glands. It did uh, sort of uh, tip off a firestorm of controversy a few years ago uh, when there was a small British study that showed perhaps a link with autism. That study has since been actually formally rescinded, formally withdrawn from the journal in which it was published, and larger studies have shown absolutely no link between that vaccine and autism. And again, the risk was not risks with not getting this pretty severe. Absolutely, measles. You know, we we think of measles and mumps as something you know that that isn't so serious, but it actually is. Measles can cause uh, brain swelling. Mm. Mumps can cause deafness. So these are illnesses that it's better to be protected against. Okay, very quickly, Holly, let's, let's talk about the flu vaccine. Something a lot of people get. Some people think if I get the flu vaccine, I'm going to get the flu. You're you're not going to get the flu. <laughs> you might have a runny nose or, or you know, a headache or fever for a couple of days, but you're absolutely not going to get the flu. Um, and everybody, if you're over six months old, you should get your flu vaccine just to protect everybody okay. else. Holly Phillips, new mom, second little girl. Exactly. Nine, nine, weeks, nine old. weeks old. Congratulations. I got my flu vaccine to protect her too. So uh, there you go. You're a good mom. <laughs> Congratulations. I try. Thank you. <laughs>